for 13.2 practice, we have number one here. It says that Keisha is building a raised flower bed around a tree, explained how to find the volume of soil she needs in order to fill the flower bed, then find the volume. So we're looking at this flower bed here. It does have this weird little cut out shape here. So if we look at it, the shape actually looks kind of right like Utah does, has that little cut out corner. So we need to find the volume here. So I think we just need to find the volume of the whole thing and then cut out that piece there. So I can see this is five and it goes back three and one third. So five times three and one third. And then the height of it is one fourth. So we're first going to just find the volume of that whole entire thing here. So we have five over one. That's nine plus one is 10 over three. And then one fourth. So let's see if we can simplify anything. So this one's already simple. Three can't go into five or 10 or one. But four and 10 are both even. They can both be divided by two. So 10 divided by two is five and four divided by two is two. So now we're as simple as we can be. So we have five times five is 25 times one is 25. And then we have one times three is three, three times two is six. So when we're multiplying fractions, a bunch of them, we can really just stack them all up together. Multiply, multiply, multiply. We don't have to do one at a time like regular numbers. So this is 25 six. So we're gonna leave it like that for just a second. So that's the whole thing. Now we also have this little tiny piece that is one third by one third and the height of it is one fourth. So we need to take away that piece right there. So we can't simplify anything because we just have ones on the top. One times one times one is one. Three times three is nine. Nine times four is 36. So we're taking away 136. So we have 25 sixth and we need to minus 136. So we need to make these both have a common denominator. So we're going to turn them both into sixes. So, or sorry, 36s. The six can go into 36. So 36. So how did I get from six to 36? I times it by six, six 25s, 25, 50, 75, 100, right? Four quarters makes a dollar, 125, 150. So this is 150 minus 136, which turns into 149 over 36. Now we just need to simplify it to finish the problem. So we have 149, we're dividing that by 36. And because this gave us our problem as fractions, we wanna give it back as a fraction. So it can't go into one, it can't go into 14, sorry, 14. So it can go into 30, 149. I'm gonna try five times and see what that gets me. So there's. 30, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, that's too big. So I'm going to try 36 times 4. There's 24. 12, 13, 14. Perfect. So that goes in there four times, which is 144. We have five left out of 36. So we need four and five, 36 feet cubed so we can fit cubes that are one foot long we can fit four and five thirty six because right this is only a fourth of a foot tall it's only a couple of inches so that foot really can get spread out so four and three and five thirty six will fill that garden box up so we found the volume took away part of it what do we have left Okay, hey, number two here tells us that an aquarium is shaped like a rectangular prism. The prism is this long, this wide, this high. What is the volume? So length times width 
times height, so we just need to make these improper. So four times 24, ew, okay, we're gonna have to do that. Four times 24 is 16, there's nine. 96 plus one is 97 over four. And we're gonna times that by 12 times two is 24 plus one is 25 over two. And then we're gonna times that by 20 over one. So let's see if four can go, four can go into the 20. So four goes divided by four is one. 20 divided by four is five. And this two can't go into those. So we're gonna keep that like it is. So we need to do 97 times 25. Take that answer and times it by five so one times two times one is two. So 97 times 25 times by five. We'll put this answer here and then we just need to simplify and divide this answer by two to get our final volume. So and it's going to be inches cubed. So whatever this is, 97 times 25 times five divided by two will be our answer in inches cubed. Hey. All right, number three tells us that Ray has nine identical shoe boxes. So here's our shoe box. What is the total volume of all nine? So we need to find the volume of one, so length times width times height, and then we need nine of those. So our problem says that we have, so the length is 12 and a half. We're going to times that by the width of 15.2 and then times that by six and then we need nine of those so we're going to times that by nine so we're going to set up our problem so here's 24 plus one is 25 over two and we're timesing that by 15 times two is 30 plus one is 31 over two times six over one times nine over one so let's see if we can simplify anything. There's not much since I see a lot of odd numbers up here. So I know two can be divided by two one time. Six can be divided by two three times. So that got a little smaller. Now two can't go into any of those. So we're gonna start and we're gonna do 25 times 31. So 25 times 31 is five and there's two placeholder 15 six plus one is seven so we are at 775 now we need to times that by three and then you're going to times that by nine i'm going to let you finish that so times this by three take that answer times it by nine and then that's your numerator and then two times one times one times one is just two when we're done, we're going to divide that by two. So we need to do 775 times three, take that answer, times it by nine, because we need nine of those shoe boxes. And then the denominator was cut it in half. So go ahead and finish up that problem there. Hey, next up we have number four, we have a length of 1 15th, a width of 1 15th, and a height of 1 15th. So now we look and we're like, oh, fractions, but this one's not too terrible because we have a lot of ones. So length times width times height. So one times one times one is one. So now you need to do 15 times 15 and then times that by 15. So we really are doing 1 15th cubed 1 15th times 1 15th times 1 15th. So 15 times 15 times that by 15 will give us our answer and then it needs to be feet cubed. So go ahead and finish up that problem there. Hey, number five. So we have 70 times 35 times 10 and 1 8. So we need to make this improper. So that's 81 over 8. So let's set up our problem. So we have 70 over 1 times 35 over one times 81 over 
8. So I'm thinking of things that 8 can be divided by. So it can be divided by 8. None of these can be nicely divided by 8. It can be divided by 4. Uh, none of those are even, so it can't be divided by 4. Obviously, a 70 is even, but 70 divided by 4 is not perfect. But these can both be divided by 2. So we can get a tiny bit smaller. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 70 divided by 2 is 35. So to do this problem, we need to do 35 times 35. Once I have that answer, I'm going to times that by 81. So we're going to have a pretty big number up here. So 35 times 35 times that by 81. Put your answer on the numerator on the top. 1 times 1 times 4 is 4. And then we're going to take this divided by 4. So 35 times 35 times 81 divided by 4 will give us the answer in inches cubed. We'll see how many cubes fit inside. All right, next we have these fractions here. So we need to make these improper. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. So that's 3 halves. 16 plus 1 is 17 over 2. And we're going to set up our problem. So length, so 3 over 2 times 17 over 2 times 11 over 1. Okay, so we have 3 times, oh, let's see, can 2 go into any of those? Nope, these are all odd numbers. It's not giving us very nice numbers. So we need to do 3 times 17 and then times that by 11. So 3 times 17 times 11 is the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. So whatever 3 times 17 times 11 is, we divide it by 4. And that will give us our answer in inches cubed. Okay, and number seven, this one's decimals and lots of ones and fives, which are nicer. So I'm going to start and do base length times width. So 1.5 times 1.5. So five times five is 25. Five, six, seven, placeholder, five, and then we use that. So there's five and one times one is one. So we're adding these up. So there's 12 and two. And this has one, two decimal places, one, two decimal places. I can't just bring it straight down. I have to move it over. Because one times one, right? We're a little bit more than one. That's one. Our answer should be close to one, which two is close to one. If you just bring your decimal straight down, 22.5 is not close to 1. So now we need to take this 22 and 25 hundredths, 2.25, and times that by 1 to get our answer in meters cubed. So whatever our answer is, it's meters cubed, length times width times height. So make sure you have finished the math. Don't bring me blank problems. You have to finish the math.